So let's talk about these. Is it raining in here? I'm Scott Weinkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things that you and me are thinking about. In this video, we are going to be talking about umbrellas. Not the kind that blocks you from rain, although they could, but the kind that shapes light. And remember, I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday as often as I can. So if you'd like to get the latest videos, click the subscribe button below. These are umbrellas for shaping light. They're called light modifiers. The same way that soft boxes, which I have here and here, are shaping the light and keeping soft light on my face right now. Umbrellas actually will disperse light in a wider uh, angle than what a softbox will do. A softbox will keep light very to a very specific area because they are kind of flagged with the black uh, housings. But an umbrella is just a giant umbrella. So it's going to spread that light as wide as this goes and a little bit further. But there's two types of umbrellas and there's many different sizes, but I really want to talk more about the types of umbrellas that there are. This one is called a shoot through umbrella. It is basically just a clear translucent uh, umbrella that the light passes through. Basically you would have your light here aiming towards the front of the umbrella and then the subject would be, ha would have the umbrella and the light aimed directly at it. Now. This umbrella is good for sort of creating a soft effect, but you can't really control the light, right? So it's it's just a soft spread of light. It's a little bit better than a bare bulb, but, and it's good for some purposes, but it's not ideal for many things. This is a different type of umbrella that is silver on the inside and black on the outside. Now this is actually a convertible umbrella, so I can actually convert it into a shoot through umbrella, but really, this is intended to aim the light at the inside to have it then bounce back and hit the subject. Still a spread of light, but not as soft, a little bit more harsh, a little bit more controlled. So that's really the difference between the two umbrellas. But I want to show you one umbrella that I think is my favorite, especially when I need to use umbrellas while not in the studio. This is the compact umbrella from Westcott. Now this umbrella, as you can see, is quite tiny. It is not even as wide as my shoulders. But what's really cool is that it extends to be a full-size umbrella. So it's actually a, quite a large umbrella for a travel umbrella. It's really easy to travel with, which is one of the reasons why it's my favorite for when I need to do things not in the studio. Really, I only use these when I'm not in the studio. Again, I'm going to compact, bring that back down, shrink it down. Now it's compact. I can throw it in a backpack and I'll be on my way. So there's many types of umbrellas. I don't use them too often in the studio because I prefer soft boxes. But when you need them, you need them. So that's why I got them.